Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to create a new variable using strata. So for this, what we have to do is, first of all, uh, I'm going to open my strata. Here in strata, I will copy my data. For example, if I am having this data, this data contains ID, years, companies, and all these variables okay so i'm first of all i'm going to copy this data from excel so i have selected the data from excel and now i'm going to copy it here Here I will create first row as variable names. So my data has been copied. Now I have uh, here uh, the ID, year, company name, and uh, this. A variable I don't want actually I don't want this variable so I'm going to drop this to drop this data I will right click here and drop selected data yes so <coughs> this data has been dropped so these are my variables now if I want to create a new variable here in stata so what I have to do is let us suppose that I want to create a new variable that is for return on asset okay so for return on asset I will create a variable for that I will go to my command prompt here and uh, first of all I will write here generate the command is generate 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 then I will write the name of the variable which I want to create so I want to create the variable return on asset so return on asset this is the variable the variable name should not have any space in between any of the words so generate a return on asset then is equal to and then what it should be so the return on asset formula is net income divided by total asset so I have here the net income okay the net income can be seen here the net income or you can say profit after tax okay so profit after tax and divided by profit after tax divided by divided by the total assets so total assets are here these are my total assets okay and uh, this is how I can now create a new variable I will enter here the new variable return on asset has been created and if you want to see this you can see it here return on asset and this is my data and here the very good thing in this data is that if there is any missing value in my other variables for example if there is any missing value in the profit after tax or in assets in that case the result of the new variable will also have a missing value okay which is not in the case of uh, the excel where it uh, usually take the value of zero but here the 
basic values are zero. If uh, the basic values, uh, if, if you take the basic values as zero, then uh, my results would be misleading. Okay, so it is better to have a missing value if the values uh, which have created this variable are also having the missing, missing values. Okay, so this is how you can create a variable with the values. But if you want to create any other variable in which uh, there or there should be no value, then in that case, how will you create such a variable? For example, if you want to create a new variable with no values, for that you have to write here generate generate. For example, uh, you want to create age dummy variable. So age dummy, and uh, if you want to if you want that this variable should not have any value then you just write here point apply a point here and now you can see here that age dummy name variable has been created with no value no value in it okay. so this is how you can create a variable with no value if you want to add values in it then you can add the values by your own you can copy it from the values from the excel also if you have the values in excel or if you want to put the values here in it in that case how to put the values here in it so if you want to give values uh, to this uh, age dummy variable which is having all missing values so how to give the values for example we want to give the values to the age groups for example uh, if we want to give the value 1 for all those uh, age groups which are from 0 to less than 10 and uh, we want to give the variable 2 for all those which are from 10 to 20 so how to give this uh, such a values to this uh, variable for this, uh, we have to use another command that is replace. Okay, so we will write here replace replace age value is equal to one if age is greater than zero. And age is less than 10. So now the age dummy variable which will get a value 1 if the age is between this interval means from 0 to less than 10. So here we can see that the age age dummy variable it has taken a value of 1 if the age as you can see here the age of uh, ages if the age is between 1 to 10 so here you can see it will take the value 1 if the age is you can see here the age is 5 6 7 8 9 and 9 so here it has taken the value 1 so back to here it has taken the value 1 okay now Here also it has taken the value is 1 here also 1 because we can see that the ages are 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 now if you want that it should take the value 2 for 10 to 20 so we write here replace age dummy is equal to 2 okay page is greater than or equal to 10 and page is less than 20 so now you can see here if it is between 10 to 20 so it will take the page to the value 2 
okay in this way you can create you can give values to this hw variable okay so this is how you can create a variable and you can create a dummy variable uh, and you can give values with the help of these commands so i hope the video was helpful to you have a nice day